Let me some mind you. Let's see, we're playing on the Joffrey account, if I remember right. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever calls us by name, we run. Yeah. No ho. <laughs> no hoes. <laughs> Only bros in the mind Only gym. bros in the mind <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely leaving that in. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so Joff... Did we... Mm, two Fs. Fs. Two Fs. Yeah, that's how you spell Did Joffrey. you with a G, though? Um, I thought I spelled with a J. Yeah, restore session, I got it right. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we were... Joffrey's a pretty mentally cool guy. He's not uh, very experimental. Yeah. But he's very proactive with traditional things. He's a pretty empowered guy. Challenges stuff. He's open to new ideas. If only we were like Joffrey. Oh, we know. should all aspire to be like Joffrey. I actually made myself do this honestly recently. Um, did not turn out well. <laughs> I think everyone. Most Sudden people. thought. Green for go, red for stop. Green and red, red and green. It's always the same wherever you go. Never a color for. Don't mind us. You just keep going. And what's with the amber? Have these people ever heard of purple? Welcome back, trout lovers. The gym is now open for business and pleasure. So let's get fit, fit, fit. Hello. <laughs> Screw it. Let's just change that to the name of our fan base, Trout Lovers. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. Trout Dive. So why does your shirt say Trout Lovers? Well, this game kind of accused me of being one. What? The room now approaching on hardware platform number one is the Mind Gym Think Tank, calling at Fire in the House, a Party Blender, and Problems Away. Think tank passengers requiring new mental techniques for transforming great theoretical ideas into working realities, that means you, by the way, should change the points as required, display the green signal, and wait for the appropriate carriage to arrive. Please remember to take all your mental baggage with you as you go. In the event of your obvious self-confidence leading you astray, we recommend you make your way immediately to the fire in the house carriage where you'll be provided with thoughts on how and when to damp down that get-up-and-go-I-can-do-anything spirit. So the game is kind of strange, actually, because it essentially evaluates you on a bunch of things, and the moment, like, it says you're doing well at something, like you're confident or you're open to new ideas, it then throws you in an activity that turns you against that. Right. So if you go into the pool and click on Dr. Balmer's book, then it gives you a bunch of like book ideas which you've got to evaluate as good or bad. Yeah. But it's always free, so you'll either be accused of being like too creative and too accepting of crud, or they'll say like you're not open enough. Yeah. So basically, once you get to this stage of the game, you just can't win. Better. So this is how you change the rails, and then you can summon different things. Yes, oh, okay. the party blender. That's the best one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? The... what? Ah! What's it blending? There's nothing in there. Just magic. Invisible oranges. Hi, come oh, on in. Uh oh, you're not gonna wear that shirt in here, are you? Oh, really? You need to change, I'm afraid, if you're going to come to my party. Uh, go on, pick a shirt. Any shirt. I don't want to come to your party. Did we pick destroy the shirt, or we're keeping the shirt, or? <laughs> I think you might have destroyed the shirt. I don't think I wanted to. I just say pick the shirt anyway. I yeah. don't like this guy. Shall we pick a new one? Just pick this one then. You don't trust me, do you? Lighten up. This is a party, not the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, nice guys there. You decided to be a bit more strong-minded about your shirt, huh? Good! Come on in! The party hasn't really got going yet. In fact, I was rather hoping you'd help me with a few last-minute preparations. You know, the basic things like what to drink, what to eat, who to invite. Okay, okay, I know you're the organised type that would have planned this all a bit earlier. Well, I'm not like you, Captain Salty. Is that a crime? Here's the party blender! All you've got to do is rustle up a good combination. The right people, the right eats, the right liquids for that perfect social event. I'm just going to slip into something a little more comfortable while you get mixing and mingling. Go on, surprise me. Put the journalists in with the petrol. Maybe you're not <laughs> sure how to do this. <laughs> Let me show you. Right, right off the bat. Try, try. Wonderful, we managed to shut him up. Yeah, for some reason ah. we have a reputation of knowing where our salt is and thus we're organised. Uh-huh. I mean, 
Our kitchen's okay. tiny. Of course we know where the salt is. Um, yeah. What should we throw in? I mean, we've already put in petrol, so... What will smell delicious as it burns? Pork. Put in the pork. Yes. Yes. Yum, 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 yum. It always turns out orange no matter what you do. No. Flaming flying pigs. What a floor show. What a story. That's the great thing about parties. You just never quite know how they're going to turn out, do you? Sometimes conventional wisdom just doesn't do the trick. And other times it does. I guess it's all a question of judgment. So, how about another mix? I'm in the party mood. I, this voice is infuriating. Remember when I said this is the best one? <laughs> This is the most annoying voice <laughs> he's done yet. Oh, hi guys. You're coming to my party, are you? Oh, guys. <laughs> so, I kind of haven't done anything yet, but if you could just do all the work for me, that'd be swell. I've got infinite coconuts and petrol. <laughs> I just had them, you know, lying around. Hey, hey, I know you've got infinite salt, but we got other things. Yeah. Okay, let's, yeah, party pooper. Ward out already, huh? <sighs> At least you know where to come next time you fancy a spot of creative experimentation. It's not creative, it's four things in each category. You know where to go if, um, if you need to organize parties for me. Because yeah. you can totally do that. He's gonna turn up and he's just gonna say the same thing. Isn't he? Okay, let's oh, wait, try. Wait. Is that one one we've already done? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, not the blender, not the blender, not the blender. It's okay, we can send it back. Back, foul blender. Be gone from our sights. Okay. Okay, so let's put them both down. There we go. Center. Okay, scales, why not? Justice will be served. <laughs> oh, if only that was uh, as interesting as what this actually is. Is it another maths puzzle? No, actually. Uh -huh. Not quite balanced, are we? Never mind. All we need is one good-sized trout to even things up a bit. What numbers screw you over Actually, again? Actually, it's a handy piece of equipment, this, for an opportunity grabber like you. It's even got this little drawer for storing those key events in life when you need to weigh up the pros and cons, balance out the problems and the opportunities. Here, look. Exciting idea, huh? Just pick up your coat and walk out that door into a world of possibilities. I just Freedom. got my job. Time on your hands. No That's particular some. place to go. Drifting into a bar, maybe. Have a drink. Have another. Have two. But money. I work in a bar. Money. Off home then. Whoops. No home. Well, maybe we need to temper that optimism of yours with a bit of pragmatism. Now, I can think of four good reasons for quitting your job. You'll have lots more free time for a start. Boring. And maybe you can focus on finding a better job. One that months. really brings out the best you have to offer. Maybe it's a people thing. You can get I'd to like the people of my job. Leaders, You're really annoying me here. Quantity surveyors. This game was clearly not made in a recession. At least there's an opportunity to create a less stressful oh, life. Oh, for less yourself. stress. Yeah, being unemployed All is so not stressful. Quitting, reckon, but how good? I spent Let's months looking them up, for a job. Shall we? Here come the problems. I guess someone like yourself is tempted to put your full mental weight behind the opportunities here. Give them all five out of five. But don't get carried away. These oppos only deserve a five if they actually do their job and persuade you about starting afresh career-wise. If they don't tip the scales in favor of quitting, then it's no one. Or maybe a measly one or two. Go on then. Pile on the poundage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Lots more free time. I haven't had much free time lately, so we'll make it a three. That's fine. Find a better job is a two. It's not really a thing. Work with great people is a zero. I like the people I work with. Yeah, there is a zero option. And a less stressful life. <laughs> uh, can we use minus uh, numbers? No. Uh, 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 <laughs> looks like nothing's going to tempt you to quit. Let's see, though, how weighty the problems could be that come with quitting your job. For a start, there's a severe lack of money. 
the unnatural hiatus in your career, no work friends or colleagues to stop you getting lonely, and then there's the boredom. In your case, oh, these problems yes. don't have to get very heavy at all to outweigh the opportunities. See how easy it is to kill off what could be the beginnings of something great just by raising a few mild objections too early? If you stifle those negative thoughts a little, you might breathe life into a few more ideas. Yeah. It's very inconsistent, but uh, allow me to do this for you. Yep. <laughs> ah, well, back to work. <laughs> Problems to solve, brick walls to decorate. Shame. I had you down as more of an opportunity spotter than a problem solver. Why not to rummage around my drawers? Why do you more assume that a job is a, a more problem? Positive balancing trick. What is this? He's such a jerk. It's just like, oh, you're leaping on opportunities too much. Wait, you didn't take an opportunity? What's wrong with you? And every room does this apart from the games room. Why can't we win, you jerk? You cannot win. You got a problem Stop. with this exercise? Well, there'll be other opportunities to try it out, I guess. Hello. <laughs> no. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Do. Do. Never again, never, never again, again, never again. Choo choo. Bring on the train. Let's go for the final one. Is that a fire extinguisher? Yes, it is. This is fire in the house, which uh, they mentioned earlier. This is the one where we have to. Ah! <coughs> Joke gas. Don't panic, don't panic. Just practicing the fire drill. Take one fire, apply extinguisher. And look! No fire! <laughs> that didn't happen before, did it? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, there's no reason to assume that things always turn out the same way every time. Playing slot machines would be a pretty boring pastime if that was the case. Albeit a lucrative one. <laughs> Frankly, it's impossible to predict what the consequences of your actions are going to be all the time, isn't it? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Oh, unlucky. Life's a gamble that way, isn't it? The trick is to take something positive away every time you lose. Mmm, delicious. You should never be afraid of making positive mistakes. You know, the kind of mistakes where you actually learn something. <coughs> oh, for example, Ugh. take the fire extinguisher. Yeah. What will it do next, I wonder? Oh, gee, I, uh, I wonder. Ah! More fire! You impulsive little devil! Quite happy to rush in there and set me on fire in the spirit of creativity funny. and experimentation, <laughs> weren't you? Don't you realize there are some areas of life where mistakes are never going to have a positive outcome? <laughs> there it goes again! Good job we're just fooling around here. Now, if this was an oil refinery or a dynamite factory, the whole place could just... Ah! Uh, oh, cool! The game's gone. Cool. As I okay. was saying, That's, uh, some no. mistakes just aren't worth making. Ow! Where have you got us to now? Can't see a thing. That's. The <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Ha ha! Very funny. I suppose you saw that coming. Repeating obvious mistakes never got anyone anywhere, right? Talking of which, where are we? Ah, yes. The old homestead. It's good to be home. Come on in and take a look around. And bring your flames along with you if you like. Might be the spark of inspiration we're looking for. <laughs> Feel free to apply them where and when you like. Fire is not always such a bad thing, is it? You can warm yourself by a fire. You can cook with fire. You can boil a kettle, light a cigar, dry your swimming togs, burn up any unwanted garbage, stir the flames of passion. Just remember, there's a right what? time, and there's a wrong time, for experimentation. You're playing with fire here. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, certainly. Just make damn sure they're positive mistakes, and not just pointless shots in the dark. The moral of the story is, don't burn your house down or blow yourself up. So okay. this is kind of strange. It's kind of like an old text adventure game. Yeah. Except they put in the arrow keys rather than you hang to like type in stuff like up yeah, yeah, and yeah. down. Left and right. Why is there a large cucumber stand and why is our mother waiting under the mistletoe? Hmm. That's what it said on the previous one. Okay. However, we can burn the cucumber stand. That's burned your bridges, I'd say. No run out of the house up there. Never mind. 
See it as an opportunity to blaze a new trail in a different direction. We set fire to the stairs. Oh. <laughs> a, oh, right behind us. <laughs> you. That's a mighty hard wall you got yourself mixed up with there. Okay, the wall. The vast and belay. You've just mashed Captain Cod's cucumbers. Excellent. Oh, good. I hate that guy. Set a course for another part of the house and be quick about it. Sneaking a look upstairs, are we, Nosy Parker? Well, you won't find anything up there except the way back to the think tank. Oh. Huh. Um, right. The back to spirit now. of adventure lives on. Shut up, Captain Cod. Okay. okay. Middle okay. of the hallway. Left is a wooden door. Right is the staircase in front of you stands, you mum. Alright. Go left again. Oh, that's the door. Where's the Where's the cucumber stand? Uh, we stepped on it. Oh. Oh. Who do you think you are? Goldilocks? Get off my bear! Your house is awful. Okay, so we're standing in a living room. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh. Yeah, it's cold. But don't you think the best place for a fire might be the fireplace? Why waste time experimenting when a perfectly workable solution to your needs is just over there on the other side of the room? Okay. Well, it's that's not how this text adventure thing works! Why do okay, now, it was in front of us before. <sighs> hey, let's blow up the drinks cabinet. Uh -huh. Let's yes, do indeed. that next time. A fireplace is a pretty obvious candidate for a little fire application, I'd say. We'll have this room warmed up in no time. Let's go have a drink. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Put a bit of fire, fire in your belly. Hmm? A flaming brandy Alexander, perhaps. <sighs> Hair of the dog that bit you. A quick snort. <sighs> a snifter. <sighs> a throat warmer. <sighs> a I, I just wanted to set fire to the booze. <sighs> a short. <sighs> Mother's ruin. <clears throat> I'm glad you pressed that fire button, aren't you? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> yes. Robert, another flaming brandy, Alexander. See the play. Show me the way to go home. And again. Yes. You're going completely insane with that fire button. Yes. You're really getting into this, aren't you? You're wondering how much audio we managed to squeeze in here, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> ah, yes! Great! That's it! I've had enough. Out you go! When Joe come back until you've learned some manners. Oh, He kicked us out! What a jerk. He doesn't let us have any fun. I hate the gym. <sighs> oh dear. Okay, so we didn't do very well on the train section. We did not do very well on the train section. But I'm not a party person, and I don't know, I would just go to the drinks cabinet of some stranger's house and try and set it on fire. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta do something after you quit your job, right? Yeah. Anyway, that was mine, Jim. <laughs> um, I hope it had its more enjoyable moments for whoever's watching this. Oh, yes. I enjoyed it. You gotta, you gotta appreciate the voice acting of the guy. It's a very unique piece of software, and back in like the late '90s, when things were a lot more cheesy, this probably was a lot more funny. But nowadays, it's a case of, oh no, he's doing the funny voices. Someone wants to be Robin Williams. How nostalgic! And I do like this music in the background here. This is kind of cool. Should play this in the actual gym. Yeah, I mean, it's better than that horrifying like dance music they yeah. play whenever I go there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, that's been a lot of fun, so catch you next time. Laters!